At the beginning of summer, when you got your acceptance letter, you're probably like, Woo! But now, when college is actually starting, you're like, Oh my god, what do I do? As a senior, I'm gonna tell you, transitioning from high school to college is probably one of the hardest things you'll have to do up until this point of your life. So today, I'm gonna tell you what first week of college is actually like. <laughs> So we'll go in chronological order. Frosh week is probably gonna be the first thing you'll experience. This is actually a great chance to meet some people before actual school starts. I don't know if all universities have it, but my university had it and it was pretty lit. The important thing to know here is don't be that guy. That guy who goes a little too hard at everything or is a little bit too competitive at all the events. Frosh week is your chance to set a brand new first impression so people like you, so you can make friends, so you won't be lonely. Okay, next. School is now starting. You're moving in. Moving dates are on the school website. Make sure you don't miss it. Everyone is gonna be moving in at the same time. It's gonna be super crowded. Elevator wait's gonna be like five minutes. So, <sighs> mentally prepare. Anyway, my advice here is to go in a little bit earlier. Be the first one into your dorm room and then claim your space. So there's probably gonna be like a common living area. Put your stuff where you want it to be. So now people know that's your shelf. You know, don't claim all the space. Leave some room for other people too. All right, social life. This is probably the thing you're most looking forward to. Maybe you didn't like your high school friends. Maybe you didn't have high school friends. But now is a chance to reinvent yourself. Make friends. Find people that you really, really enjoy hanging out with. Or so you think. But then you're like, how do I actually do that? I think the number one thing to do is just to say hi to everyone. In first week, everyone's gonna be a little bit fake. Everyone's gonna be a little bit too happy, too excited. So it doesn't matter if you're a little bit too excited anyway. So whenever you sit down in a new class, say hi to your neighbors to the right and to the left. Everyone else has no friends either, okay? You need to take advantage of the first week because at the end of the semester, people are gonna already be in their friend groups. <laughs> And the other really crucial tip, say yes to a lot of things. Hello, yes. This is your chance to find out which people you actually enjoy hanging out with. And then later you can just stop hanging out with the ones you don't really like. You go to college to actually learn, right? So this one is a little bit important, but I'm gonna tell you first week of classes, it's gonna be super, super easy. Uh, teachers are usually gonna just go over the syllabus, which is an overview of what's gonna be in the course throughout the semester. My tip for you there is to gather all the syllabuses that you have, or syllabi, I don't know. Which one is it? Comment down below. Anyway, so gather all the syllabuses you have and then note the very important due dates, for example, projects, the midterm dates, and the final exam dates in your calendar. This is your time to plan ahead to make sure that you don't fail your classes. In college, it's different because you get to pick your classes. But how do you know which ones to pick? And how do you know which teachers are good? Well, there's like rate your prof, but like that's not really that accurate. So the best thing to do is to actually drop in on the classes. I would suggest you to sign up for more classes than you need and then drop the ones you don't like just like the way you would drop your friends. <laughs> it sounds harsh, but you know, it's the best way to do it, process of elimination. This is gonna ensure you are happy. You need to be happy. All right, parties. This is a juicy stuff. You might have all these like grandiose expectations of college parties, and I'm gonna tell you, they're actually somewhat true. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot better than your high school parties, but um, 
I wasn't invited to any of them, so I, I wouldn't know. Um, but anyway, on college parties, they're a lot of fun. There's a couple type of parties. Let me break it down for you. There are the dorm parties where they're just like 20, 30 people. They gather in a dorm, drink a little bit, talk a little bit. It's chill. It's a nice chill vibe. Personally, I love these type of parties because I would actually make friends at these parties. And two, there are the frat parties. These are the parties that you have the imagery in your head of. Okay, these are the crazy ones you see on TV. These frat parties are usually in the frat houses and it's kind of like a, a mini club. There's gonna be a DJ, there's gonna be very dark lights and it's gonna be a lot of people dancing, grinding, touching. Some of them can get a little bit greasy. Some of my girlfriends have told me stories. But if you wanna go have fun, be, be my guest. It's gonna be fun. Go with some friends just to make sure that you're safe. Honestly, I would say experience everything at least once, right? Don't knock it until you hate it. And then lastly, there's gonna be the school organized parties. These are usually gonna be like big events, but they're not gonna be as R-rated as the other parties. They're more tame, but it's still kinda of cool. If you have time, go to these. <laughs> Okay, roommates. This is a big struggle. You probably hadn't had to deal with before. Um, they could be nice. They could become your best friends. Or they could become the person you hate the most and dread to see every time you go home. Your first week will set the tone for that relationship. My advice is for you and all your roommates to gather together in the first week and set the expectations straight. Because a lot of times, the problem with your roommates is about communication. So like, you expect them to do something, but you never said it. You're upset, they don't know you're upset. I think the best thing to do, which is what I did, is in the first week, we set garbage schedules. Who's gonna take out the trash every single week? We rotated, and then cleaning schedules, expectations for doing dishes, cleanliness, showers. When you set the expectations straight, you know, you can keep people more accountable. Okay, so I know a lot of you are actually still in high school or applying to colleges soon. And one of my top tips for getting to a good college is to get some external feedback on your college application. So today I'm actually very excited to announce that we are going to be sponsored by a company called Bullseye. They're a new app that helps you get into the top universities with college advising. And the best part is that all of their advisors are not like 50 year old counselors. They're all recent graduates from universities like MIT, Harvard, Stanford, UCLA. So you're getting real practical advice from people who've actually applied and got accepted. And today we're getting a special offer. So if you click the link in the description, joinbullseye.com slash free session, you literally get a 20 minute free one-on-one -on -one call with one of these advisors. You can ask them any question that you want, get some feedback, or prepare for the future. This is actually a great opportunity to get feedback from someone who has done it before. So click the link in the description and don't miss out on this opportunity. Another cool thing about university is actually the clubs and the extracurricular events. There's probably like 200 clubs at your university, way more than high school. So at the beginning of the semester, usually university hosts like a giant club day. They display their club information and they give you free swag. This is the best time of the year. It's like Christmas all over again. So if there's one thing you take away from this video is to join the clubs you like and then say it with me, drop the ones you don't. <laughs> It's a good strategy. It's a really, really good strategy. That can apply to a lot of things in your life. All right, lastly, this is my last parting advice. I just want to talk face to face with you. You know, set your mind straight. College is going to be a brand new experience. It's going to be the time of your life. But don't expect college to make it the time of your life. You are gonna have to proactively make college the time of your life. That means try new things. Get out of your comfort zone. It sounds cliche, but you know, when you don't feel comfortable, that's when the real growth happens. And then meet new people, work on projects together, because in college, people are actually looking to make 
friends, whereas in work, people are just trying to get out of there. So take advantage of these next four to five years. You're really never gonna have the same experience again. I am very excited for you. This is gonna be a completely new chapter and I just gave you the pen. Now you get to write your story however you want. Isn't that exciting? Doesn't that sound amazing? If you want to learn more and see more of college life or get more study tips, click the subscribe button because I'm gonna be helping you along this new journey. My name is Hafu Guo, and I'll see you in the next video.